Hillary Clinton doing a little soft shoe today at the UN as she addressed her email scandal. I thought it would be easier to carry just one device for my work and for my personal emails instead of two. Oh, it's also House of yes, Cards, isn't it? Yes, it is. Which, by the way, can you believe this? The Washington Post actually calls that the worst show about American politics. Relax, Washington Post. It's fiction. If we wanted real politics, we'd all tune into C-SPAN. No disrespect to C-SPAN. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Well, on the other hand, you know, we call it our binge-watching obsession. Yeah, the power, the twist, the turns, the fashion, too. Uh, but just how much, like the Clintons, are Frank and Claire Underwood? We've been lying for a long time, Francis. Of course we haven't. Imagine what the voters would think if we started telling the truth. They're dynamic, strategic, and we're eating it up. But are they based on Bill and Hillary? They'll always compare. You know, they'll always compare, you know, not just to that particular couple, but to, to lots of uh, political couples, I, I suppose, in the past. We're not basing our characters on, on anybody, uh, but I suppose that's just to par for the course. If you could maybe listen instead of grandstanding. Like Hillary, Claire has her own political ambitions, and her husband knows her power with the public. She doesn't have Claire Underwood standing by her side. But she's also got a lot of Jackie Kennedy's iconic style. Classic, sexy. We were trying to remain within the conservatism that we think DC accepts. Tailored suits, separates, short-sleeved dresses, all in neutrals like black, gray, and white. Our best dress of the season? This silver satin gown. We'll look up, you know, 1940s patterns from Sears and Roebuck and go, I want that lapel on this and make this a three quarter. And then let's take this skirt from that pattern from 1968 that Onassis wore. I mean, mm. and just combo and we have a great seamstress that builds a lot of things. Yeah. Robin's in the new Vanity Fair wearing designers like Ricardo Tichy and Ferragamo. She says she's a late bloomer in her career because she stayed home to raise her two children with her ex, Sean Penn. And now she's found love with actor Ben Foster. He's 34, she's 48. She's never been happier. She's never been more satisfied, you know, and, uh, and that she's even the happiest she's ever been in the sack. I will take And as tense as the scenes in House of Cards seem, well, that's just make-believe. We do far more giggling than anyone would ever imagine uh, on a daily basis. Sometimes scene by scene basis. Yeah, it's almost criminal.